Hi, carnivores. I'm Sarah from In the Block Wellness, and I wanted to talk about a little update of an experiment that I've done recently. So I've been a carnivore for almost six years. I've done every variation you could think of, high fat, high protein, low protein, high fat, you know, all of the things, and I found what works for me. I've used carnivore with a K, and I am able to optimize my body using ketosis as well as a meat-based diet eating enough protein to support my lean mass and my needs, but also I'm thriving. And I've healed many things, including high blood pressure, PCOS, hair loss, um, all of these things, melasma, digestive distress, and so much more that I can't even think of at the moment. But I recently did a experiment where I stopped eating salt. So most carnivores love our salt. We use it. We carry it in our purses and keep it in our cars. And I was one of those. I put it in my water. And I had always been trained in my holistic background that we need minerals, we need salt. And I recently had a client that inspired me to try no salt. He had been having painful urination and was having some other issues with oxalate dumping. And I had gotten into... Um, some research from Amber O'Hearn, who's a long-term carnivore, as well as the bear, who has been probably one of the longest carnivores. If you look him up, he did it for about 50 years and he never used salt. Um, and if you think about it in nature, we didn't have all of this endless salt and we weren't salting our water. And yes, we got more minerals from things, but is it really that much? So I started studying and looking this up and my client removed the salt for him. He did have some cramping, but his painful urination got better. So it inspired me to dig a little bit further and try this on myself. And because I am very in tune with my body and knowing what's going on, I was able to get a pretty good gauge and I've seen amazing improvements. Um, I was addicted to salt, which I didn't really know. And at first food tasted pretty bland. It took days, if not a week or two, to just have the food tasting differently again. Um, I was so addicted to salt that even like the one day I had mineral water and I think I drank the whole bottle and was like, okay, that was just definitely something I didn't need to do. So salt is something that we are also addicted to. But if anyone, you know, wants to try this for themselves, this is not medical advice. This is not, um, you know, anything that I say you have to do, but it may be something you want to try. There are other carnivores like Bella, um, steak and butter gal and Dr. Anthony Chafee that do not consume salt. So some of the things that I found were first of all, immediate, um, less puffy. I could get my rings on and off very, very easily. I didn't think that was really a big deal. I guess that there wasn't that much, but I actually felt less puffy and I didn't think I was that puffy um, to begin with on carnivore. So I saw that. I saw skin improvements um, and that can be something like with collagen that our skin is like a lung and a kidney because it's breathe, you know, it's that air exchange, it's the water and sweating. And my sweat had always been salty and gritty. And now my skin is so much smoother, um, which I thought was really strange, but makes sense. Um, I guess it can disrupt some of the collagen in your skin if you have too much salt. Um, and so that has been something that I've noticed changing, um, pretty easily. Um, Drinking water is, but it everything else really didn't change much. I didn't have any cramping, which was good. Um, I had a couple like little lightheaded moments when I stood up really fast, but that was it. And it happened in like the first two days and then it was over. So I think once the body realized, yep, we need to keep the salt and not dump the salt, it started keeping it. And then I was not urinating it out or sweating it out, you reabsorb it. And that is the difference of what the body can do. So I did see a lot of improvements. I wouldn't say I was deliberately eating less, but I eat less food. Um, when something tastes like super, super good, 
which most carnivore foods do. It's just, I could eat it and I ate more of it where I've noticed that I actually, um, I'm getting maybe more proper hunger signals, um, just eating my foods. And I already ate my butter unsalted because I would use my own salt. So that wasn't an issue. But after several days, my meat tasted salty again. My butter tasted good. The eggs tasted a little bit salty. I did find that I liked my um, beef a little bit more rare. So probably because of the minerals I wanted. And, um, but other than that, I mean, it's been a really good experiment and I will not go back, at least for now. I'm sure there'll be times I'm out at a restaurant and they'll salt something, but I just know I'll, I feel better without it. Um, I am less bloated, if that makes sense, because I think sometimes I would have so much salt that it would pull water into my belly and I would have more belly bloat that the less salt has kept that um, really, really minimal. And I just feel leaner and less puffy. So um, those were all really positive things for me. And now I don't have to buy gobs and gobs of salt. I live in the tropics that it is very hot. And I was always trying to, I guess, balance my electrolytes and, you know, do I need more salt in my water, less salt in my water? Am I overdoing it? And I was feeling it was not working very well. Like I was sweating a lot and I would drink a lot and then I would probably drink too much salt in it. So it was just this balance that was kind of getting frustrating. That is what led me to try it. And now I just drink water until and I don't use salt and it's easier and I don't have to carry it around. Um, and my food tastes just as good now and I'm loving all the benefits from it. So comment below and let me know if you use salt, don't use salt. Um, uh, I will link, uh, Amber O'Hearn's talk about not using salt. And maybe you want to question that for yourself, but I look forward to hearing what you think and, um, sharing more updates about all things carnivore on my channel. Thanks.